Boyan invited me to say a few words about the relationship, new relationship to the plant world, uh, because I am just writing uh, about this theme in my new book about the uh, Gaia culture. Uh, so um, usually I speak about the transition uh, that is uh, crucial for this time, which is transition for, from one uh, governing element to another. It is transition from the earth element uh, and the strong, strongly materialized world to the air element, which is the element of consciousness, of freedom and of movement. But there is another important transition, which is a transition from the connect, being our evolution connected closely to the animal world and towards being more closely connected to the plant world. Uh, we we uh, are very grateful to the animal uh, sphere, of course, because the animals have prepared the possibility for us to incarnate upon the planet. They prepared uh, the bodies uh, that can move around. They prepared organs that, that we also uh, inherited from them. Uh, the wonderful uh, possibilities to orientate and to pursue in the material world and so on. Uh, but uh, we inherited also uh, different uh, shadow sides. Uh, one, some of them like uh, fight for the territory, fight for domination, uh, 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 food being food one to another, killing each other. So, so wars, our wars, etc. Uh, the plant uh, kingdom is different. First of all, uh, Plant Kingdom uh, is uh, a daughter of Gaia, not like animals of us humans who came from um, the cosmos and joined the evolution of the Earth. The plants, like stones also, they, they belong to, to the Earth. And um, we, we now have developed a civilization that uh, has lost connection to, to the earth, to the nature, is very much destructive uh, and uh, ecologically uh, terrible. Uh, so uh, what needs as a next step is, is more closely to connect uh, to Gaia and, and uh, uh, we uh, should uh, finally understand that Gaia is a cosmic creator, that she developed something very special in, in the universe, uh, possibilities to manifest uh, the, the creation, even in material forms. And we uh, approach this planet to uh, uh, learn from her, learn from her book of life. So, so this uh, closeness uh, is the uh, plant world uh, would uh, enable us to uh, gain a ground on the planet and develop a different kinds of civilization that is uh, in tune with the creation uh, of Gaia and her uh, elemental world. Um, another uh, important uh, lesson for us is the way how uh, plants uh, communicate with each other in, in peace. They, they create a um, kind of networks, networks of consciousness that connects different kinds of plants on one side, but also different bio, biotopes. And uh, uh, this means developing a collective kind of consciousness. We, we have, on the other side, developed a very high level of individual uh, consciousness, but this leads us also in conflicts and uh, domination one about the others. So um, reattuning to the way how plants uh, communicate with each other, uh, creating their net networks, um, can bring uh, balance to, to us so that we are at the same time, uh, we feel as part of 
humankind and as part of different groups um, that have something together to develop. And on the other side, we are still uh, individual individual beings. Uh, and uh, this means uh, we would be able to develop a non-hierarchical um, civilization, a, a horizontal one that collaborates then, like plants collaborate with elemental beings and with viruses and with um, microorganisms. And um, in this way, also, it is time that we start to collaborate with parallel um, evolutions, uh, visible and invisible, because we, we are now, we see ourselves as a kind of unicorn uh, upon the planet. Uh, a next quality that's, that the plants know um, is uh, their, their way to relate Relating to um, a devic world, uh, I, I call these beings uh, elemental angels. They uh, are high developed elemental beings that take uh, care for the archetypes of different plant species, and um, and through this, they, uh, uh, in a horizontal way, they, they manage the evolution. Uh, to, to be moved in cycles, not linearly, by, but cyclic, uh, similar <coughs> also with the human world. We could again connect to the uh, ancestors and descendants, to the so-called uh, spiritual world, because there are um, the human beings as yes, souls that uh, hold the, the matrix for uh, human evolution uh, and for individual human beings uh, they can uh, uh, communicate the, the best possibilities or different possibilities how to choose how to go uh, continue our uh, individual or collective paths so uh, collaborating on one side with Gaia and on the other side with ancestors and descendants uh, would enable us uh, to, to create a, a peaceful uh, so societies. Uh, but uh, it is not enough only to uh, know, uh, to think about this, have, have vision. Uh, uh, more important is uh, to develop communication with plants. Uh, perception of each other so that we get um, uh, intimate inner uh, experience of who plants are and how we can uh, position ourselves in relationship to the plant kingdom. For example, the best uh, to start with are trees. When, when you approach a tree, don't just look from outside, but uh, become the tree, you are inside the tree to feel it. And then the tree can also be inside of you because the trees are equally interested, interested or the plants in general, who we are, what we have developed in our evolution uh, and what they can learn for us so that the, the future will be uh, more in the sign of uh, uh, communion and togetherness between the human world and uh, the plant world. <laughs>